During my youth, I loved eating kebabs <laughs> and drinking a lot of whiskey as well. In fact, I loved them so much that when I walked into university, I looked like a stick insect. But three years later, when I rolled off stage at graduation, I looked more like the Michelin tire man. Due to poor dietary habits and a lack of exercise, I would ballooned to 30% body fat, which is actually 5% higher than what doctors today consider clinically obese. After continuing this lifestyle throughout my 20s, I was eventually told by a health professional that I needed to make a big change soon, otherwise I might face future health problems. But there was one big problem. I'd never set foot in a gym before. I'd never lifted a dumbbell. I had no idea what to do, and quite frankly, found it too intimidating, like many others do. So after biting the bullet and enrolling in a personal training program here in London, over the course of four months, I trained really hard in the weights room, got super personalized coaching, and ended up dropping down to just 7% body fat, which was around 56 kilos. In fact, I even managed to do a very cringeworthy photo shoot as well. Now, burning body fat is great, but I also burned something else, a big hole in my pocket. As personal training can cost upwards of 50, 60, even 100 pounds an hour in places like central London. So broadly, it has been very inaccessible to people, especially also because you have to meet a certain someone in a specific place at a specific time. After one particularly brutal personal training session, I could barely walk out and my legs were hurting. And so I decided to order an Uber home. In that car journey, the driver told me about how companies like Uber and Tesla were working on giving cars the ability to drive themselves. Cars would understand key signals in the street. They would understand the roads and pedestrians. Effectively, using cameras and clever hardware, they could effectively replace the driver. So I thought to myself, hmm, wouldn't it be cool if we could use cameras to replace my personal trainer? It certainly cost me a lot less. In fact, what if we could develop some kind of health coach that tracks and monitors your every change in your health and your fitness? And what if this technology could be available at any time, at any place, but most importantly, seamless and blending into your everyday surroundings? This future may not be in your phone, and it may not be in your smart wearable watch either. As science fiction writer Arthur Clarke once said, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Good morning. Good morning, Baron. Your heart rate seems high. Are you a little nervous today? I am actually. I'm talking at TEDx right now, live on stage. Okay. Our program of five-minute breathing exercises reduce your heart rate around your resting average of 50 BPM. You'll feel great. All right. That sounds good. Let's do it. And as you can see, the mirror has developed a one-to-one hyper-personalized breathing exercise tailored to my real-time heart rate right now. And I'll just pause that because I won't do it right now. It has been said that artificial intelligence is one of the most profound things we're working on as humanity. It could be more profound than fire, electricity, or even the internet itself. In the future, AI will not just follow us, but it will guide us as well. Here, in this simple wall mirror, a beautiful piece of furniture you might find in your home is your new personal trainer, your new health coach, and maybe even one day, your new doctor, all appearing as a hologram. The same camera AI tracking technology that has been rolled out to those self-driving cars can now be in your home too, guiding you in your exercise, tracking your diet, and developing personalized programs to help you meet your health goals that is tailored to your specific body and your specific biometrics. So, let's give this magic AI mirror a try. I would love to do an exercise this morning because I'm appearing in front of an audience and I wanna make my arms look pumped up. So I wanna look good on stage. Okay, Baron. 
Here's a class I developed to get you ready to go. I'm going to coach you, track you, and correct you live as you work out. All right, that sounds good. Let's do it. So I'd like to ask if there's anyone who would like to come up to demo. Uh, they will have to watch and the trainer and follow what they do so that I can explain to you what's happening at the same time. So yeah, is there anyone who would like to come up? <laughs> We've got one here. <laughs> All right, you're up. <laughs> so when, when, he gives, when I give him the cue, he can click the start button and then he'll be guided through an exercise, which I believe will be a bicep curl. Obviously, he won't have any weights today. And as he's doing it, I'll try to explain to you what's happening at the exact same time. So first, he has to position his body into the frame in order for the tracking to pick him up. And there we go. The AI has picked him up in the body tracking. Welcome to today's session. So the personal this trainer appears. This exercise is an alternating bicep curl. You will need a pair of dumbbells for this one. I'll just turn a little bit low. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and a slight bend in your knees. Holding the dumbbell in each hand by your thighs with your palms facing away from you. Keep your elbows tight to your thighs throughout. Keep your chest up and your head up and keep your back straight. Bend at the elbows to initiate the lift one side at a time. Slowly bring the dumbbell to lower your shoulder. Lower slowly and under control. Once you've completed a rep on one side, please then switch to the other side and keep alternating. We are going to start in three, two, one. So, as you can see... Wrong arm. Complete one rep on the side. <laughs> so, as you can see, the trainer will count his reps in real time two. out loud as Bring he... As he does them. And sometimes if he makes a mistake, the trainer will bark will bark at him. Four. Five. There you go. Excellent. Six. Oh, did you make a mistake? Seven. Wrong arm. Complete uh, one rep on each side. That time he did the same arm twice. Get those reps in. <laughs> All right, great. Eight. Great. Cool. All right. Not so high. Ah, oh, he went too high that time. All right. Nine. I'll let, I'll, I'll let him finish. <laughs> Ten. Final six. Eleven. Uh, that time he didn't go high enough. <laughs> Twelve. Brilliant. And can we have a round of applause for our demo here? <laughs> so as you can see, the AI was able to track him, correct him, count his reps, watch his positioning, watch his form, and tell him what to do. So that was a strength-based uh, exercise. But now, I tell you what, let's do a cardio-based one. This is the second and final one. Now, uh, I just so happen to notice that we have one of the fastest British sprinters of all time in the building. A and we have an exercise which literally involves running. So I don't know if I can invite the legendary Dwayne Chambers, perhaps, up, if you give him a round of applause. So um, if Dwayne presses the start button, and then just follow uh, on the mirror, on the mirror, and then just follow whatever the trainer tells you to do, so first it will pick you up in the tracking, and this time it's called high knees. It's running well, on the spot. Workout session team, make sure you're putting in the effort. Alright, I'll try. Super <laughs> high range. Let's set those knees up nice and high, alternating both legs. You yep. can use these momentum from your arm to help you, or you can have your hand Stop. above your waist, using them as hard as keeps the ankle. Oh, almost. Uh, I'm getting tired, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so I just stop for a second? Just stop for a second? Let me just get out of this bit. Hang on. Or should I go further down? There? If you go a little bit further back. Let me go down, yeah. yeah. Is that better? Uh, Let me try. Try. I'm obviously not doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Hang on. Let me start. Oh, right. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> Jesus, only last 10 seconds. Do you come, uh, try it from that angle, perhaps? Well, I can stay for my workout session. These are high knees. Let's set those knees up nice and high, alternating. Go? Yeah, give it a go, see if it'll work. Do you come up a little bit more? Maybe the knees come up a little bit more? <laughs> there you, oh, there you go. Oh my God. You need to come up higher, mate. There you go, there you go. He, he's still got it, just about. <laughs> That was amazing. Give a hand for Dwayne Thomas, everyone. <laughs> this same technology that you've just witnessed brings strength training and personal coaching into a safe space in the home. Uh, a space which previously has always felt, um, you know, been, a, been an environment where people suffer from gym intimidation. And technology like this offers the opportunity to extend access to those who previously would have found it too inaccessible. Whether it, and this application can apply to multiple different environments, such as strengthening those who previously wouldn't have had access to it, <laughs> as well as using it as a rehabilitation tool to ease pressure on the NHS, and also, <laughs> and also extending access to those people who typically are excluded from a natural gym environment. And the best part is that it just beautifully blends in with your environment. Other than smoking, the number one cause of cancer is being overweight, even just slightly. In fact, maintaining a healthy weight reduces 13 different types of cancer. And as you can see, physical in inactivity and poor diet are only slowly behind. The name of the AI we've developed and shown you today, we call it Reflect AI. It is the most basic version of what we're building but we believe it will eventually accelerate the way that we can quickly diagnose illnesses and prescribe a plan to an individual based on their hyper-personalized needs. We think it could be truly revolutionary, even if the answer is quite simply training people more closely in their diet and their exercise. Not long ago, a close friend of mine, Alex, faced a sudden health crisis. He had been experiencing unexplained symptoms for months going from doctor to doctor, and he couldn't find the answer, yet the cause remained elusive and time was slipping away. Then his case was picked up by a group of medical experts who employed a very niche version of this computer vision type technology, and within minutes, they were able to scan thousands of images, identify his symptoms, and they found this rare condition that would have previously gone unnoticed to the human eye. This discovery saved Alex's life. But most importantly, there was a profound realization. What if we could give computers the ability to see us? What if we could leverage AI's objective analysis to detect anomalies that previously would have gone unnoticed to the human eyes? And what if this technology was not just in specialist training facilities or expensive hospitals, but right there, invisibly sitting in your home? Well, I can tell you one thing for certain, you could probably enjoy your life a little bit more and worry a little bit less, and maybe even enjoy that odd glass of whiskey, and maybe even have that odd kebab too. Thank you.